Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Well, last night we went to bed with the news that senior ANC MP and former cabinet minister Paolo Jordan has resigned as a member of parliament. His decision to quit politics came after revelations that he may have falsified his academic qualifications. We're joined now by a, a professor, and he really is a professor, as far as we know, <laughs> Dinika Maluleke. Yeah, he joins us now. Prof, these days you can never tell, eh? Yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> yes, you are right. You but are right. We, we do know, we have it on record that you're a professor, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, it's a, it's a sad um, development in the life of Paulo Jordan. I think um, in the life of the ANC, in the lives of South Africans, I mean, he is a prominent South African, an exemplary South African. Um, so, yeah. It's a, it's a sad moment, I think. Mm, a very sad way to go, I think, after his uh, great accomplishments. But do you think the developments take away from all he's contributed? I Look, there are two issues. One is the fact that it took so long to have the courage uh, to come out and say that it's not true that I have uh, these qualifications. Um, and the, the second is the fact that he has eventually admitted mm -hmm. to it. I think the length it has taken him to have the courage is something that will leave some sour taste in, in the mouth of many, many people, uh, both the, those who like him and perhaps those who are his detractors, uh, that it took so long. But, you know, the first lie often leads to the second and the third and the fourth. And then before you know it, it's 30 years or you know, whatever the period has taken. But I think we have to respect the man for having come forward now and admitted to the, to the, to the fault and uh, voluntarily offered his resignations uh, from Parliament and from the NEC uh, and even from the ANC, uh, from what I hear. I think this is the honourable uh, thing to do. This is the way uh, he should do it and this is what he should have done uh, many years ago, perhaps. Mm. Uh, we rarely see uh, any officials or high-profile individuals when they have been found wanting who willingly fall on their own sword. Uh, do you think this is, you've mentioned that it's exemplary, do you think you'd like to see more of this, quite refreshing? I think so, I think so. Look, this is, sometimes we South Africans tend to think we are, we, we have, we are the only ones with these problems. Uh, I mean, in Germany, over the past five years, two uh, ministers in the cabinet of Angela Merkel have, have had to resign for very similar reasons. One was um, the Minister of Defense and the other was the Minister of Science and Technology. Uh, we know that in the U.S. a famous dean of um, uh, the MIT, very, very famous, prominent uh, uh, university in the U.S., uh, had been for 28 years uh, living this kind of lie. So it, it does happen, but it all eventually depends on the integrity of that person to come forward and say, listen, I'm tired of this lie for my own sake. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an ethical, personal ethics matter. But, uh, you know, with all due respect, he was found out first before he confessed, isn't it? This is true. This is true in this case, and that, that, that is the unfortunate part. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the fact that he has eventually had the courage to admit it, I think we should respect him for that. Uh, you asked me earlier, you know, does it wipe away his contribution? I don't think it does. It does, of course, raise a question about his integrity. Uh, but it, he has a second chance. He's not dead. He's still alive. Having apologized now, I think everyone will be watching how he proceeds to conduct his life uh, from now going forward. So do you think maybe a complete resignation from politics is not the answer? It's a good start. It's a good start because what he is trying to say is, I'm sorry, I've wronged you as, as a nation. I've wronged my organization. I think it's a good start. I don't think we should scoff at that. It, 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 it can't be easy for someone like him who has known nothing but this life uh, of being a leader in politics. Mm. Why do you think there was that initial pressure? I mean, you have the lights of uh, President Jacob Zuma, who has openly declared that uh, he has not completed his, uh, his uh, primary education. He's willingly come out, and a number of people have done so to say, I have not matriculated, and yet I hold this position. Uh, why do you think that was, th th was not the case with Mr. Jordan? Did he feel that pressure to, to perform? You know, it's, it's part of the irony of this tragedy, because if there is one person 
uh, who does not need the title to be who he is, it's Paulo Jordan. He is an amazing intellectual. He is very knowledgeable. He is very well read. He really does not need uh, this yeah. title. Um, but it shows, it shows you how important perhaps uh, these kinds of titles are for people, uh, that people are prepared to cut corners uh, and, and to, to accept uh, this, this kind of thing for so long, um, which, which, which is a shame for someone like him because he really doesn't need it. He could have been open. He could have said, I don't have it. Uh, he had a chance for the past 20 years, having come back uh, from exile to do it. He hasn't done it. But then again, I don't want us to sit here in judgment over a man who has now come forward to say, listen, I'm sorry, and I'm willing mm. to step back. Mm. But I think, I mean, if I were in your position, the sheer... Uh, bravery that he had, the audacity uh, to, to claim such a high title. I mean, as a professor, you know just how difficult it is to attain that. Didn't part of you sit back and think, just on a personal level, you have a nerve? <laughs> yeah, look, it, it is, um, unfortunately, I, I've seen it be, uh, done before. Uh, I gave you two examples from Germany and, and other places. Uh, we have seen people who go around with the title doctor uh, without having uh, the degree. We've seen uh, all sorts of uh, people selling doctorates, uh, unfortunately, to, uh, to ignorant people who pay money to get this title. Um, you know, it's not the title. If you, if you haven't earned it, stay away from it. If you've earned it, use it. But ultimately, it's your integrity as a person. It's what you, you, you bring to the table, what you contribute, Ayanda. You as a person, what you bring to the table, that's what we'll remember, not your title. Mm. It just sounds so naked, though. I had to without a title, but I'm just kidding. Prof, thank you so much for your insight and uh, for uh, some analysis on those developments. Professor Dinigo Muleleka, uh, he joins us, UJ Prof, there. Uh, we will take